My father ended up showing up. I was 10 years old. Now, he did come a few times, but they would tell me, don't tell him because he doesn't want you. So when my father would pick me up and say, how's everything, Maria? I would say, fine, Daddy, just fine, because my father was so fragile. And somehow I grew up with the thought that I gave my mother a brain tumor because she died on my birthday. We never celebrated my birthday. Yeah. My father cried for my mother. That's what he did all the days of his life. And he takes me home. I'm 10 years old because he discovered the abuse. He shows up. I have marks on my face and, you know, chunks of hair pulled out of my head. And, and now I have a different battle to fight. Now it's an inner city school and it's co-ed. And I had never been around boys before. And because I'm a new girl, the boys like me because the boys like me, the girls hate me, and the girls would chase me home every day. And the girls were like Philistines. They were like the tallest girls you ever <laughs> saw. And I would run home every day, and I would get in that apartment, and I'd be like, and my father would say, how's everything, Marie? And I'd say, fine, Daddy, just fine, until one day the Philistines caught me, and they ripped my blouse, and I held my, my blouse shut. But with my other hand, I, I, I had to fight back. And when I went to fight, I, my thumb snapped back and it broke. And I couldn't go home and tell my father that my thumb was broken because he was too busy looking out the window crying for my mother. And I, to this day, look at it, it's mm -hmm. a whole different size. And I say there are things in our life they've never been set right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a certain movement, it's a certain smell, it's a certain block, it's a certain song, and, and um, but I am here today because I truly believe that as you give God every issue, it's not overnight, but every issue, he makes every crooked bone straight in your life, he really does.